All right. Chapter 16. Uh, you should have been, you have been encouraged to look at chapter 16 and all of these case, case studies as you've gone through the program. The, the intention is to show you how all of the factors that you have learned uh, in all of the chapters previous, including all your science studies, uh, come together to be a massage therapist and provide therapeutic massage. So let's just look at this. It's an important chapter. Here we go. Let's look at it. Chapter 16. So as you are wrapping up your initial entry level studies and you are preparing for the AMBLEX exam, an excellent study strategy is for you to work through each of these case studies and see what you can understand, what the definitions are, if you can explain it in different words, if you understand the various elements. And if you don't, then that's when you're going to want to identify those areas and go back and review. So if you encounter a term you don't understand, you can use the search program um, or the appendix uh, in the text or the index in the textbook. Um, you can Google the term and see if that doesn't kick in your memory. Um, so it, if there is a, a method you don't uh, you're not able to describe, you know, haven't performed it a lot, you might want to go back and review that on the videos. Take a look at our YouTube channels. There's so much information there for you. Um, so here we go. These uh, case studies have been designed so that they're going to address the main things that clients will come to you for with massage. And it gives you a pattern of how you think through it. This is all based on clinical thinking and, re and reasoning. So um, the introduction here is talking about this integration. So each of these uh, narratives is presented as follows. The story, case narrative, the assessment process, the clinical reasoning, which is the interpretation of the assessment information, and then the treatment plan development. It does not take you into a series of charting or documentation. What it does do, though, is gives you uh, an exposure to how you would integrate these um, concepts in more of a real world setting. And the videos that go with this on the, this chapter specifically, look, there's three of them and they, they involve an, a mock-up of how this might look in a therapeutic setting. So the other thing that it does it is you'll notice in these is that there's there's not just one thing. It's not like this person has this pathology and then you're going to do this. It's not a recipe book because those don't work. So there's multiple factors that are presented that are going to influence. Um, there might be coexisting conditions. There might be something related to uh, an interference with an ideal treatment plan. That you know, so There's a lot of complexity involved here because that's the way the real world is. And these cases, these, these narratives here um, are a platform for your final written exam at Health Enrichment Center. You're going to do one of these as well. And 
there's a, a template for that in your handout, in your handbook. And your pattern, the pattern that you will follow is um, chapter 16. So let's, let's review our uh, main, our, our main platform, our main foundation for how we approach um, working with a client. So that's this box. And then this is the sequence that you will follow. Identify the main goal, all of the conditions and complicating factors. Identify the overlapping issues that alter the, the care process or superimpose cautions for massage application. Brainstorm about what you agree with in the presented treatment plan and what you might do differently. You know, you don't have to agree with Luke and I always. Scrutinize the assessment process. Did we forget something? Would you have done something differently? With the physical assessment information, actually put yourself in the positions, describe and experience how it feels. So if it says that their head is, is tilted to the left, then do that. Relate those postures and sensations to the goals of the client and the recommendation for massage application. And then built in as well is the various practice models uh, for massage, including facility, location, fees, and scheduling. So again, uh, it's not prudent in this video to go through and um, you know explain every single one of these cases. The, the, the narrative and the critical thinking that is put forth does that. What's important is that you puzzle your way through these and you uh, realize that if you can have a, an understanding of all of the different scenarios and situations presented, uh, examples of how PubMed and Medline Plus were used to uh, do a literature search to learn more, um, how that is incorporated into the decision-making process. Uh, this this is the best way of integrating all of the content, as well as preparation for the MBLEX exam. So I'm scrolling through here and um, getting to the very end with the foot in the door and our summary. Um, this is this is the end of your first read through the book. If you go back in a year, six months or a year, or as part of your study for the MBLEX, go back and uh, look at the end of chapter questions, do all the chapter tests again, uh, you'd be surprised how much you glean the second and third and fourth time around. So this proficiency exercise is actually your own, is what we have based our written final exam on. So these questions here at the end are, are more complex. Uh, they're asking you to chew on the information and, uh, you know, that you won't find MBLEX questions that are this complex, but they're, they're meant for you uh, to kind of consolidate everything and have a, a you know, a, an appreciation of everything that you've learned. So, we did it. And if you've made it this far, good for you. It's been a journey.